Hey guys, Kev here, and I have an unboxing to do for you. So this one comes by way of Notorious EDC. Uh, this one is a Berg Blades knife. So you guys may have recently seen my videos unboxing and then disassembling this here mini barber. Absolutely in love with this knife, by the way. Um, it broke in perfectly after the disassembly. I mean, look at that. Whoo, them skiffs. Um, it's a tank side to side. It drops. It's dead center. Literally perfect. Um, but... He also was sending me a, I believe, prototype of the button lock version of the original size. So I'm pretty sure this is a Riot build and it's a button lock, which is pretty cool. And I'm fairly positive it's a prototype because I think it was a pre-order that already happened. I didn't realize that. Um, I don't know how I missed out on that, but um, I did have a full size of the original Barber. And... Um, I really liked it, to be honest, but my issue with it was just, it was kind of like a Chavez 229 where you would disengage and it would just bang right into your nail. And I'm one of those people who likes to do this, you know, but this blade is lighter, so it doesn't swing down and crush you, you know what I mean? But on the full size, that corner would get you. And then the clip was really tight for me. So, um, I'm pretty sure he went ahead and did this button lock because it solves that problem. Now you have a button, so you're just closing it and you're not worrying about your finger being in the path, right? Um, now this is a Riot, so we're gonna see how they did on the detent on the button lock. That felt pretty good. It's a beautiful hollow grind, belt satin, two-way satin. I mean, it really is just a gorgeous knife. Great action there on the close nice stud action not the strongest detent but definitely not uh bad in any way for such a heavy blade i think it's actually dialed really well you'll notice we have the addition here of a front flipper Ooh, that's a nice little add-on there that you didn't have on the original lefty works really well closes really well flicks really well Thumb flicks really well. I mean, shit, he really crushed it on this. Um, hopefully the clip is a little less tight on this one than the uh, original, let's see. Yep, feels absolutely perfect in my pocket there. Um, yeah, great action. Got the same really cool studs. I really like these studs. They were, uh, for me, the first time I saw them, I believe, was on the original Barber. You can go watch my video on that. I think I just unboxed it, um, and that's as far as I got with that knife. But this, um, <laughs> this is really good. Comfortable in the hand back here, but you have this flat up here to choke up on. And just like the Mini, man, if you have larger hands, like XL, 2XL, I think this is going to feel just like this one does for me, where when I sit up on this flat, and I choke up, my thumb goes right into that poon and it's literally just perfect. And this feels the same way. It's just, obviously it's a bigger knife, but I think with lar uh, XL hands, you're probably gonna feel just like this, locked in perfectly. Um, you can see the size difference here. I'm gonna do a, probably do a tabletop uh, comparison and then I'll do like a full overview of maybe both of these at the same time. But there you go, size-wise, you can see the difference. Quite a bit smaller. And personally, that's just what I prefer. It's got a little bit of weight to it because it's uh, full titanium here. It is milled out, and it does say prototype right down in there. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but pops out of there. I love the jimping up here. It's really well done. It comes up and around. That's something that I'm always screaming about in videos give us that jimping up and around so one you can grab it like this and do a reach around and two if you kind of miss the front flipper as you're going off of it you still catch that jimping on top i can flick this from the very top of the tab i mean that's excellent right there um and the jimping is super aggressive on this you can hear it ting I had some uh, 
elderly couple parked next to me. I'm at the post office and they're like staring at me. What the fuck is this guy doing? The acoustics. Can you hear the ting? Damn, that's nice. Yeah, I gotta say, uh, Matt just keeps killing it for me. Uh, this is a game changer. It really is. I don't, you know, obviously you don't have the same break that you get on a uh, on a, a frame lock like the original. Like I can fail this by doing this, right? And there's a little bit of give here. It's not detent lash, I don't think. Yeah, I can shake it a little bit. And that's kind of what you get with a button lock, right? Because that spring has to lock in and there's just a little bit of play before it, it breaks that. Um, so those are a couple downsides to a button lock design, but I think this knife in particular, it, this button lock suits it extremely well, where I think this one, I think the frame lock still suits it. Um, it feels perfect to me in this uh, size. And you'll see they actually did a different flipper tab on the two knives. So the little guy here has the sort of top flipper style, right? And you can kind of roll it back like that, but it's harder and then you can reach around and get it real easy, right? Where this one has the more traditional style front flipper, which I think makes more sense for this uh, setup. And then you can obviously do a rollback maneuver and I'm sure you can reach around just like so. So it's kind of cool that he went with different setups there. Still have the pivot collars. Obviously this one is a bolster setup, bolster lock setup where this one's full tie. I don't know if he did any bolster lock versions of this, not positive, but um, I think these are coming in soon. And then he's probably gonna have a drop of these, which is really cool. And uh, yeah, I mean, excellent knife very well put together by Riot. I normally don't love their button locks. Like everybody uh, freaked out over the slim pickings. I, I really did not like the way that that lock felt uh, on the knife. Um, I wasn't too impressed. I, I think I handled the, uh, I'm pretty sure I handled the uh, Mr. Mr. Designs button lock that Riot did, the prototype. They ended up switching to Best Tech who did a great job. Um, but the Riot ones, I didn't love as much. Um, but this, this feels really good. I'm trying to think of any other Riot button locks I know of. There's probably a couple out there that I just can't think of, but I mean, this is bananas. Really well done. And the Ting, excellent. So let me know what you guys think on the Berg Barber button lock. The BBB, baby. Um, I love it. This is still my one true love, I think. Uh, then again, the Sweeney. Oh man, this is my this is my barber true love, I guess. Um, the Sweeney just kills me, man. It's so good. They're both so good, all of them, fucking good. So let me know your thoughts down below. I'll hit you guys with a tabletop video. Get up close and dirty with it, um, and uh, yeah, do an overview of both of these for you. So thank you to Matt. Appreciate you sending this my way. Uh, thanks to uh, Tom, Notorious CDC, for getting it to me. And thank you to you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hey, follow me over on Instagram, at LeftyEDC. And I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.